Hi, welcome back. I have a small thrift store haul that I wanted to share with you. If you don't already know, I do have an eBay store and I do sell some of these things online. And so I wanted to let you know because Christmas is right around the corner, believe it or not. I know maybe we don't want to talk about that just yet, but I'm trying to get my store built up for Christmas and maybe you're starting to think about things that you might want to get for people that you care about and that you have to give gifts to. So let's go ahead and start. And I think I'm going to start with, um, I got some ties. I got some really cool ties. They're kind of funny little novelty ties. And I know that, um, Ties don't always move real quickly, so the only time I really buy them is when I'm ready to um, stock up for my store. So this is the first one I got. It looks kind of greenish there, but it's not. It's yellow, and I don't know why it's reflecting like that, but this one is really neat. It's a, there's some kind of a stringed instrument. I don't know if it's a violin or a cello or a bass, but somebody who maybe is a musician or likes to play instruments or goes to concerts, those kind of things. Music teacher might like this tie. And this one is, I believe it's silk. This one is, no, this one is polyester. So, but isn't that dear? Look at that. So dear, here, let me open this up for you. Look at that. Can you see it? So that's pretty cool. And this little trail of notes goes all the way the whole length of the tie. So I got that one. Now for our Hanna-Barbera fans, this is a vintage tie. It's red. This one's also a polyester. And it's got, um, it's the Tune Force. Can you see that? Tune Force. I hope it doesn't come out backwards, but it's Tune Force. So it's got a lot of the popular Hanna-Barbera characters. You're ready to, it looks like some kicks and butt. So there's Hong Kong Fui. Yogi Bear with his peace sign, George Jetson. I've never seen George Jetson look so tough. Um, Fred Flintstone, Miguel Gorilla, and Adam Ant. And this one is polyester as well, but it's from 1994, so it is a vintage tie. So that was kind of cool. Then um, these last three are my favorites. So this one is 100% silk. This is for all the Pooh Bear fans. Look, this is. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, and it's a blue and black check, and it's a balloon. And on it, on the tag, it's Disney, but it says handmade 100% silk. So this is a very nice tie right here. Very nice, and you can tell the difference in the feel between the silk and the polyester. So there's that one. Another Disney that I found. I like this one too, it's so cute. This one here. Is one of the whoops, wait a minute, let me hold this better. Dalmatian puppies look. Look at that face. Is he not the sweetest thing? So this one also is a hundred percent silk and he's got a big red tie. It's too big for him around his neck. And it's it's the same, it's a hundred percent silk and it's handmade. Another Disney tie with that cute little Dalmatian. And here's another one. This one I think is kind of special. This one is Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny reading the newspaper, look at his face. And what's special about this one, you see it's got a stamp there with Bugs Bunny on it. He's kind of sly, isn't he? This one is a stamp collection, so it's also vintage and it's from 1997 Warner Brothers. So this was put out when the Postal Service made the stamp for uh, Bugs Bunny. So then this one is also a vintage tie. And this one is polyester, I believe. Yeah. So three of them are polyester. The two Disneys are silk, but the, the other three are polyester. But this, this one's vintage, and I know a lot of people really like Bugs Bunny. He's got an attitude, doesn't he? So that's Bugs. So those are the ties I got. Those are the fun things I got. And then I got... I went and did some other serious things. So I got some tops. I didn't get a lot of things. So um, these are all ladies' tops. I'm sorry, I just didn't find anything for men, I don't think. Um, so this one is by Panhandle Slim. And it's a size medium and it's a red western. Isn't that pretty? So if you're into line dancing or square dancing or western dancing, um, or you just like the western look, 
this one's really neat and you can see it's got some beautiful embroidery on it and I'll see if I can get up close it's also got some rhinestones and it has the pearl buttons now the pearl buttons are really really popular especially with the Western look and let me show you the cuff here on this I really like this cuff look it's got one snap here but then it's got three little tight snaps and it has this black cording on it around the cuff and across or down the snap line and then on the back as well it's got the traditional Western yoke so this one is really neat really neat top and it's a medium so I've got that one this shirt this shirt is a Tommy Hill figure and at first glance it just seems kind of plain it's a plaid shirt but this is a lady shirt it is a size XXL which it looks kind of small to me for an XXL but that is what it's labeled if you want to see okay but the thing about this top that makes it special is it's long for one thing let me stand up here you can see it's really long and it only buttons three quarters of the way down okay so it has that feminine touch to it and then also it's a roll tab so you can wear it long you know the sleeves just long or you can do you can put the roll tabs up and if you don't know what a roll tab is I'll show you here but um, it's the sleeves that have this little thing that you can turn up and you would fold it neater than this obviously but you button it up so those are the roll tab sleeves but it's it's a pretty nice well-made blouse and it's a Tommy Hilfiger and I have no idea what I'm gonna charge for any of these some of them are listed and I just don't remember um, but I can tell you that everything that you're seeing today, I paid about $2 for. They were running a sale. Um, this this one's a Karen Scott. It's the first one that I bought. And I really like this top. This is a, a size 1X Karen Scott. Let me show you the tag. 1X. And I, it's a short sleeve, but it's a knit and it's... It's pretty heavy, so this is a short sleeve sweater that you could wear in the winter time. Okay, I might keep this one. I don't know. I like this top. It's the first one I found. But the thing that I like, aside from the coloring on it, because if you look, it's striped, but it's also got some color blocking with this red and white. Um, it's got a, a wide cuffed sleeve, but the feel, the texture of this is so soft. It just and I saw it and it looked so fresh and, and it felt good when I touched it and I was like, oh, I like that one. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but uh, y'all buy it real fast, I guess I'll sell it to you. So I got one, well, two more. This one is by Quacker Factory. It's a 3X. And Quacker Factory, I'm kind of, I'm starting to find these everywhere. I've never heard of it before, but this one is just really a plain white t-shirt. Um, no stains on it, so that's nice because it's white. And then it has this pumpkin applique or embroidery on it. You can see it's embroidered, but then it's also enhanced with beading. So it's pretty simple, but it is cute. It's perfect for, they still have Thanksgiving coming up and the remainder of fall, so that's a good one for that. And Quacker Factory, I've, I sold a couple other Quacker Factory um, tops. I, I had one I got this summer, I found it, and it was really beautiful, it was black, it was more like a tank top, and it had this beautiful um, beaded um, seahorse on it. And it, I, I, it went very quickly, I was surprised at how fast it went, but it was unusual, you didn't usually see something like that. So I think Quacker Factory is one that I'm gonna keep my eyes open for. And like I said, I've never heard of it until recently. And here I have one. It's an old standard, but I, I like this top too. It's a size medium, 10, 12. And it's just really, it's like a three quarter sleeve brown top. But the beading, I don't even know if I can catch this with this lighting. These beads here around the edge of this, these it's heavy. The beading's heavy, but they kind of look, I can't tell. They look like can't tell if they're glass or if they're cat's eye they look like cat's eye beads to me um, they're looking kind of interesting the way the lighting's hitting this as I'm recording it 
everything's kind of got this greenish tinge to it. And there are little, there's little like iridescent beads in there. Maybe that's throwing off something too, but the beading on here is very, it's a good quality beading. It's heavy and it's just beautifully done. None of them are missing. It's really well made shirt. So I have this one and hopefully this won't be around too long. So that's a short little haul. I didn't want to bore you guys and go on forever. Not some of my favorite. You know, I'm not as good as some of those like um, Karen from Lavender Clothesline. She, she's got some phenomenal haul videos. And um, also the crazy, crazy lamp lady. I like her haul videos too. And I'm just, I'm not, you know, I'm still learning a lot. I watch both of them. If you want to check on them, those are my two favorite hauls the ones that do haul videos and I, I just I don't know anyway I just dropped that this is my short little haul I'll be getting more and more as we go in I will put my eBay store link in the description thanks for watching have a great day stay safe and please subscribe for more videos thank you bye bye